Hey, hi everyone. Welcome to ITV. Um, so I have got few requests from a uh, um, few of the audience that uh, please make a video on the interview questions, real time interview questions on uh, Adobe Experience Manager. Uh, just like any aspect if you take and then uh, please help with the interview question. So uh, from today onwards, I'll be covering uh, one of the aspect each day and then uh, start covering the interview questions and answers. I'll be explaining in real time. Uh, you can go through the video and then you can uh, drop your own comments uh, and questions, answers so that you know, you'll know you understand what kind of questions will be coming into the interview uh, and then how you would actually have to prepare your answers in terms of uh, uh, concepts, uh, clarity, as well as uh, uh, the real time uh, uh, use cases. So let's uh, start today with the sling models. Uh, I'll explain uh, in this video uh, the detailed uh, thing about uh, sling models. Okay, so so basically sling models is, uh, yeah, so sling models are uh, the sling API. Okay, uh, it is, uh, one of the restful web framework created uh, inside uh, uh, AEM architecture, Apache Sling is the rest web framework. It is used to map the request to resource. So basically what kind of questions an uh, interviewer can ask in Sling model. So they will ask, uh, how do you call the Sling model on the component? Component meaning slightly. So you can say data SLY use dot variable equals to Sling model package path. So how it will be, I can, uh, uh, showcase uh, you here um, the exact code how it will be so that you can understand uh, uh, that so as you have seen I have just asked the chat GPT to write the code for calling sling model in uh, Cytly. so basically what it is doing it is creating a sling model and also it is actually calling the sling model in the html and uh, if you can see here it is saying data sly use dot this my model can be any variable and this is your sling model package part so this is how you can call the sling model on the component and then uh, they will ask what are the different ways you can um, create a sling model so sling model can be created in two ways one is uh, at the rate model adaptables equals to resource dot class second one is at the rate model adaptables equals to sling http request dot class so how you can adapt to both of this i can showcase uh, in the code here so you can see um, So you can see in the screen uh, how both of them can be adapted uh, you know, for creating sling model. So um, you can see at the rate model adaptables equals to resource dot class is one way. Sling HTTP servlet request dot class is another way. And also in sling model we have option called injection strategy. So they will ask how many injection strategies are there in sling model. So in sling model we have injection strategy uh, called uh, default injection strategy uh, which is uh, uh, optional or required. Optional meaning uh, if you have any mandatory fields uh, which you do not want to uh, inject in sling model you can mention that as uh, optional but if you want all the uh, uh, properties to be injected by default then you would actually use uh, uh, default injection charges required so this is the two ways of uh, adapting the sling model and then they'll ask uh, uh, okay uh, we can create the sling model uh, in two ways but uh, um, what are the default attributes or annotations that can be used in sling model so multiple default attributions uh, annotations that can be used in sling model are like uh, at the rate inject at the rate via at the rate post construct at the rate uh, osj service uh, at the rate self so these are all the different annotations and they might ask uh, uh, can you explain each of the annotation how you can actually uh, signify um, uh, in each of the sling model so one we can say at the rate inject is for injecting the data from dialogue which is author to the um, basically uh, from author towards uh, the J java object so if you have a dialogue field text field when you have authored it stores into the jcr content and to bring it back into the html you need to use a sling model at the rate inject the dialogue field property name 
And uh, what about uh, at the rate OSJ service? Suppose if you have created multiple OSJ services and you wanted to have these OSJ services actually uh, used uh, in terms of uh, injecting in Sling model. So normally uh, in other OSJ components or Sling servlets, we will inject services using at the rate reference. But in Sling model, we will inject using at the rate OSJ service. So that is the difference. So the normally one more question they'll ask is how do you inject uh, uh, services in Sling model? The purpose is at the rate uh, OSJ services. And uh, uh, when you have mentioned uh, there are two ways of adapting the Sling model. One is uh, resource dot class. Another one is Sling HTTP request dot class. They might ask uh, what is the difference and uh, how you can actually uh, use uh, each of the adaptable in uh, uh, corresponding use case. So we have a component. Uh, we have a dialogue, we have authored the data, and then we want to show the data on the HTML. In that case, we use adaptability resource dot class. So from the JCR, if you want to fetch the resource to the HTML, we use a resource dot class. Suppose you have a component, you have a form on the component, uh, you wanted to get that form data which is submitted as um, request attributes into Sling model, and then based on the data which is coming into Sling model, you want to perform some backend operations, then you will use at the rate model adaptable equals to sling http request like contact us form registration forms where you can enter the data and from request parameters you can get the data so these are the two options uh, where we will use each of the adaptable sling uh, http request and resource.class in case of um, adaptability and then uh, they will ask uh, uh, what how do you inject one sling model in another sling model so we can say that injection of sling model in another sling model can be done using at the rate self annotation and we will mention the private uh, variable type of that uh, corresponding uh, sling model which we wanted to inject and then they will ask uh, what is the advantage of a post construct method in sling model so normally at the rate inject uh, annotation will inject all the dialog data which we are actually authored and uh, saved and while fetching the html it will be coming using at the rate inject but after the data is coming into java class you wanted to perform a custom operation suppose you have added a text field, author the text and save the text. And with the text, you want to call an HTTP client API in the post construct method and then fetch some more data. Then in that case, you will use post construct. So normally post construct will in the name itself, it signifies it will be constructed after uh, the constructor after the injections are done post post constructor. So you can actually after injections are done, you will use the post construct method. And then in Sling model, they can also ask uh, um, what is the difference between uh, wire and um, you know value map value. So actually, wire is used from a super resource type property to access in the child resource type. We use wire in Sling model, and also value map value we use in Sling model to actually fetch data from uh, one. Uh, request uh, adaptability uh, from the request parameter into Sling model. We use value map value. So these are the things which uh, we can cover in uh, Sling model as interview questions. So if any of you wanted to have any more uh, uh, doubts, clarifications or questions regarding Sling model, please feel free to drop a comment and then um, I'll respond uh, with the corresponding uh, clarifications or another video if required and then make sure the concepts are clear. So thank you everyone. Thanks for watching um, uh, the Sling model interview questions on ITV and uh, we will be bringing in every day new topic and corresponding interview questions, answers so that you can actually um, have your interviews better prepared. Uh, thanks everyone. Thanks for your time.